how are you all doing i'm back again with another video if you are new here my name is Divi Fikefu. i make videos about food health care kids hairstyle diy and lifestyle if you are interested in any of my content then don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you are notified each time i post a new video Today we are going to be cleaning and cooking together. I'm just packing my plates in my dishwasher which I'm going to wash later once I'm done with cooking. And the rest of the plates I will be washing them with my hands because I will be needing most of them right away. I'm done washing my plate and here is the meat and fish I'll be using later to cook and I always buy my meat in bulk and I separate it into small small packages and put in the freezer each time I want to cook I just take it out I just realized I've not watered my aloe vera for some time and now I'm just watering it I just love the way my aloe vera is growing now and before I continue with my cleaning, I will just spray my power breath on my stove and leave it to sit for 5 minutes while I continue cleaning the other parts of the house, like my table. And once it's 5 minutes, I will come back to my stove. These wipes I'm using to clean my table, I so much love it. I use it to clean my house all the time. They leave the house fresh and smells good. If you don't, if you are living in Germany, I don't know where to get these wipes. You can go to Lidl. That is where they sell them, and it's very very affordable. When you use it, you clean your house. It leaves your house so 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 fresh and smelling so nice It's 5 minutes now, I'll just use a sponge and scrub my stove very well and once I'm done, I'll use my kitchen roll to wipe, wipe off all the dirt. You can also use a kitchen towel but I prefer using a kitchen roll because when you use it, you can just throw it away with a kitchen towel. Once you clean with it, it gets so nasty that at times you even wash and it will, it will not even come out. So, I will, I will recommend you use a kitchen 
row so that it won't even if it's 10 or whatever you can just throw it away i'm done cleaning my kitchen now everywhere is clean and fresh and organized i'll just go ahead now with the cooking here is the meat and the fish i showed you guys later that i was going to use for my cooking i'll just go ahead now and wash the meat thoroughly and put in my pot and boil while I'll be boiling the meat, I'll go ahead now to clean my fish and prepare the rest of my ingredients. In case you don't know, I'm a mom, a new mom of four, a content creator based in Germany. At this point, guys, my baby is awake. I have to take care of her before I continue with the cooking. So now I'll just finish up with the fish and I'll clean my hands thoroughly. And I take her and once I'm done with her, then I'll come back and continue with the cooking. Here are all the ingredients I'm going to be using. I have some crayfish, a goosey, bitter leaf, fish, tomato, onion, dry fish, okra, all already prepared. Now, the meat I showed you earlier is boiling. Now is the time to start frying my fish. And I just added some sunflower oil into my pot and I'll use it to fry the fish. The meat is ready and I'll also use the other side of the stove to start cooking the soup. I have a lot of um, okra recipes in, on my channel guys. Please check them out and if you want to know how i prepare this egusi okra soup please leave me a comment in the comment section below and i will make a detailed recipe on how to prepare egusi okra soup <music>
Look at that guys, my soup is looking so yummy, so delicious and now it is time for me to turn off my stove because the soup is ready and I will just pack the rest of the plate I use in cooking into the dishwasher and I will wash. Thank you all so much for coming around. Stay blessed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.